What's important to clarify with regards to the Orville spillway incident is that the actual uh, structure that was failing was indeed the emergency spillway, um, which is a different embankment. Um, the dam itself performed exactly as designed. Unfortunately for us, um, the emergency spillway, um, uh, you know, had some difficulties that day. At the time, we thought that it was a real thing, that it was going to potentially fail, and therefore it triggered action, such as the standing up of just about every single um, state agency who has a role in response and recovery. You think CHP, um, you know, CAL FIRE, uh, obviously DWR, um, all of these agencies had to be stood up, and so we essentially enacted um, our protocols, every single protocol that you could think of, and contacted duty officers to make sure that state, the state of California was ready to respond to the potential failure of the emergency spillway. Well, at the time, the State Operations Center was um, stood down for the ongoing storms and floods that were occurring throughout the state. So our official role, once we understood that there was a potential failure at the emergency spillway with Oroville, was to immediately stand up the State Operations Center at a level one, which triggered a whole host of actions, not just for the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, but also throughout state government. 